guys, so the first video I'm going to be posting is just kind of a little how-to action. As you probably noticed, the luscious man man is back. Um, so I'm just going to do a little video kind of quick on some beard care stuff. She's looking a little scraggly and unkempt at the moment. I'm just going to go through kind of um, some tips and tricks and some of my most favorite products to use. As you will notice, I am kind of an Aveda junkie. Um, I am not affiliated with Aveda. I never went to an Aveda school. I just love it. It smells nice, it's nice, it works nice, it's great. First and foremost, it's gonna be washing and conditioning. Um, so for the longest time, I'd use the Aveda Rosemary Mints uh, shampoo and conditioner. Those are my two favorites. Um, I used them for ever. But recently, what I've actually been using are, um, they're just the Swap Professionals Rosemary Mint. They're quote unquote, proven to invigorate as well as Aveda. Um, I'm stripping, I just got these out of my shower. I like them. They're nice. They're not quite as great as the Aveda stuff, but it does the trick and it still smells pretty. Mm -hmm. It smells clean. Um, and so shampoo, condition, just like you do your hair. I only wash my hair probably about every three days or so. I usually just rinse it out in the shower in the morning. Otherwise, keeps it luscious and working for me. So yeah, shampoo, condition, it's hair. Um, sometimes what I will do if it's feeling a little scraggly is actually use the Aussie um, 3 Minute Miracle, which I don't have a bottle of at the moment um, to kind of deep condition, but I don't have to do that all too often, I guess. Next step is going to be a good beard oil. Beard oils help a lot. Um, they just keep everything nice and smooth, nice smoke condition, keep it from getting too kind of bushy. Um, and looking like hair from certain other regions that we won't talk about. My current favorite is one of the Aveda compositions right now. It's the Aveda Men Performance Composition. Looks like so. It's nothing really horribly exciting, but um, it smells absolutely divine. Like woody, natural, essential oil, man-ness, and it's just delicious. I use this um, on my beard basically every day. Once a day, I just do about four or five drops into the palm. And we'll work that baby through. Until it looks super bushy and super delicious. Look at that, yeah. Really attractive, no. Step two, brushing. Um, this is just a boar hair um, roller brush that I use. Um, the flat brushes work well too. You can get these basically anywhere just a flat bristle brush will do the trick. You can get them in the ethnic hair care aisles at most stores. Um, this one, I don't even know where I got it from, but it does the trick. And we're just going to brush that until it's smooth and working with us. Perfect. As far as trimming goes, I really don't do um, a whole ton at the moment. I really just, I shave my cheeks down to a line that I like, and then I'll go through once in a while, I'll just kind of trim underneath and really carve out this line, make sure it's nice and clean, make sure it's not too fuzzy, no one likes a neck beard. And then as far as finishing goes, one of my favorite, favorite products to use, I actually used to use this on my hair all the time when my hair was shorter, but now it's long and it really doesn't do anything except go into a ponytail or go down. But it's actually, uh, it's another Aveda product. It's the Aveda Men's Grooming Clay. This baby right here. One of my all-time, this baby right here. One of my all-time favorites. Again, smells super, super good. Um, I actually just use a tiny bit of this um, kind of on a daily basis. Whenever I want to look really nice. And I will just kind of run this over. It helps just kind of tame everything. Keep everything a little bit more together a little more sleek. Some people actually use hairspray. I know a couple of my friends who have really big beards. They will, um, they'll do like a hairspray or a light mousse or something, which I don't find easy to do because she stays pretty well together on her own. And that's basically it. I mean, in a nutshell, turn it like it's hair. It's hair that grows out of your chin. So boys, take care of your beards. No more scraggly beards. Take care of you. Just, just do it. Just do it. It's not hard. It takes me a couple minutes out of my day. Not even, I mean, in, in the grand scheme of when I'm doing everything else. I've got a couple more videos coming at you guys in the near future that I'm super excited about. Um, so this, I kind of wanted to get the ball rolling again. Again, as usual, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can always stop me in all my social media accounts, which will be down in the description below. It's uh, Jada Hagberg on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Those are the three I use the most. Until next time, I'll see all you guys later. Bye-bye.